Yes, sir. I'm calling about uh, the ten toes of Daniel and uh, how they relate to the uh, ten uh, kings of Revelation and how that could happen uh, in, in our day and age. I wanted to get your take on it. Well, you know, a lot of people think it's ten countries primarily made up of the old Roman Empire. Some people believe that it is the world is broken into 10 zones like America, United States, Canada and uh, Mexico would be, uh, you know, zone four, uh, Central America, South America, zone five, uh, you know, China would be its own zone, Russia, all that would be theirs. Africa would be theirs and so on. And so they have divided the world up for better control. But most everybody believes the iron has something to do with the legs of iron, the old Roman Empire. People say, well, why isn't the United States involved in this? It may very well be the United States does not exist. When you listen to what Putin said the last few days, how he's preparing for nuclear war, uh, he's preparing for nuclear war against us because we're supplying the Ukraine with sophisticated weapons that's causing the Ukraine not to go Putin's way. Then when you look at China saying, we're going to retake Taiwan, you see, financially, China's in real trouble. They're all upside down. They're a mess. And like any communist government, even in our own country, <laughs> Margaret Thatcher said, communism works till you run out of everybody else's money. Russia's broke. That's why they made the move on the Ukraine. China's broke. I believe this is why they want to take Taiwan. Taiwan is an extremely wealthy nation. 60% of all the chips in the world are made in Taiwan. If something happens to Taiwan, don't expect any new cars or toasters or anything with a microprocessor in it because there's not going to be any chips anymore for all your microprocessing, smog devices, all that kind of stuff that goes on. And so um, I believe that it may very well be and China is extremely angry right now with the United States with the visit of Nancy Pelosi going to China. Why she did that, I don't know. I'm not even going to say this for, for the first time. She did something that I think I actually agree with. I'm glad she went there. But China didn't take it that way. And right now they're doing high-powered military maneuvers in the Strait of Taiwan between Taiwan and China uh, using live ammunition. So this is not just play games. They're getting ready for something. They believe that America is at the weakest point because of the leadership currently in our country that America has been for many, many, many decades. Now's the time to move if you're going to take Taiwan. And many people believe, military strategists believe, that this could happen literally uh, any day because all they have to do is decide to take it. Very little Taiwan can do. Will America come to Taiwan's uh, aid as the United States has promised? Uh, I don't think so, because that would risk America in a nuclear war with China or Russia, or if China and Russia go together to surprise attack America. America is not mentioned in biblical prophecy, but we know that the far north in Ezekiel chapter 38 is, uh, where Russia is, is mentioned in biblical prophecy. It comes against Israel with the Arab neighbors in the last days. But America is not mentioned. So I believe these iron toes are held together by a democratic union, the clay, and it may very well be that they govern over the world. Your thoughts? Uh, the United Nations uh, in 2010 divided the world into 10 regional groupings. You could probably pull that up on the internet, 10 regional, well, just pull up, pull up regional groupings by the United Nations. Uh, you have the developed uh, regions such as the United States, Canada, Europe, Australia. You have uh, countries in the Commonwealth and independent states. Uh, you have uh, the uh, Northern Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeastern Asia, Oceania, Eastern Asia, Southern Asia, Western Asia, Latin America, and the Caribbean. And these are the 10 regions that right now the United Nations has divided their world into. And uh, the, so you look at the 10 toes, 10 kings, you're talking about, you know, basically what they're referred to as groupings or federations. And of course, the leadership will come out of Europe, as Mike said, it is, is iron mixed with clay, the feet of that statue that Daniel interpreted for the last days. 
And it's, it's going to be a very loose alliance. It's not going to work out very well because iron and clay don't mix too well together. They'll be devouring of three kings and so forth, as it says in Revelation and, and or in Daniel, rather. And so these things are going to be happening. And but yet it's, it's, it's going to be an alliance. It's going to come together and our world leader known as the Antichrist, who will institute the mark of the beast. And uh, it's, it's going to take place. Uh, soon and very soon, right after the rapture of the church. So that starts the tribulation period and the unveiling of the lawless one, or we call that Antichrist in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Mike? Hope that helps, Daniel. 